Okay, so we can also use the slope of a line to tell us whether two lines are parallel or perpendicular. So two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Okay, so two parallel lines would look something like this. And I know that's not perfect, but these lines would be parallel. If you graph both lines, they're never going to cross each other at any point. So they have the same slope and they have different y-intercepts, they're parallel. Now if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, they're the same line. Okay, and then two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is negative 1. So perpendicular lines are going to intersect at a 90 degree angle. So if you graphed the lines, it would look something like this. And I know this isn't going to be perfect, but it should form a 90 degree angle. So again, two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is negative 1. So let's look at a little practice exercise here. I want to determine if each pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So 3x plus 7y equals 4 is our first equation, and 6x plus 14y equals negative 2 is our second equation. So all we're going to do is solve each for y, and we're going to see what the slope is. So we'll start with 3x. 3x plus 7y equals 4. So let's solve this guy for y. Alright, so subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. We'll have 7y equals negative 3x plus 4. And then I divide both sides of the equation by 7. And we end up with y equals negative 3 sevenths x plus 4 sevenths. All right, now we have 6x plus 14y equals negative 2. And again, we want to solve this for y. So I'll rewrite this. 6x plus 14y equals negative 2. We're going to subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. And we're going to have 14y equals negative 6x minus 2. Okay, now we're going to divide each part by 14. That's gone. We'll have y equals negative 6 over 14 times x minus 2 over 14. Of course, I can reduce each fraction there, so let's do that. 6 is 3 times 2, and 14 is 7 times 2. So I can cancel a factor of 2 from both the numerator and denominator there. So I'll have y equals negative 3 over 7 times x minus, and then 2 over 14 here. I know 14 is 7 times 2, so this would be minus 1 7. Okay, so y equals negative 3 7 x minus 1 7. So you can see, now that we have our equations in slope-intercept form, it's pretty easy. The slopes are the same, right? In each case, it's negative 3 sevenths. And we have different y-intercepts, so we know it's not the same line. So we'll say that these lines are parallel. And again, that's because the slopes are the same. Okay, for our final problem, we have 3x minus 4y equals 12, and we have 4x plus 3y equals 15. So again, we're going to solve each for y to get it in slope-intercept form. Then we're going to look at our slopes and see if we have parallel lines, perpendicular lines, or neither. So let's see, we have 3x minus 4y equals 12. Start by subtracting 3x from both sides of the equation. We have negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 12. And I divide each part here by negative 4. Okay, 
that's gone. We have y equals negative 3 over negative 4 is 3 fourths, right? Negative over negative is positive. Then times x plus 12 over negative 4 is negative 3, so I'm going to write this as minus 3. So we have y equals 3 fourths x minus 3. All right, let me erase and we'll get some room. All right, next we have 4x plus 3y equals 15. So 4x plus 3y equals 15. All right, now subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. And you're going to have 3y equals negative 4x plus 15. And now we just need to divide each part by 3. Okay, 3 over 3 is 1, so we have y here equals negative 4 thirds times x plus 15 over 3 is the same as 15 divided by 3, and that's 5. So y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. So now we're going to look at the slopes here. Are these lines parallel? Well, the slopes are not the same, so they're not parallel. Are they perpendicular? To find that out, we need to multiply the slopes together and see if it equals negative 1. So 3 fourths times negative 4 thirds. Well, I know positive times negative is negative. And then 3 can cancel with this 3 here. And 4 can cancel with this 4 here. So I'm going to have 1 times 1, which is 1. And remember, it was a positive times a negative, which gave us a negative. So the final answer here is negative 1. So we have lines here that are perpendicular because when we multiply the slopes together, we get negative 1. So these lines are perpendicular. 